feelings are that I think we can really wrap it up in eight episodes, and I think that it'll be a great season. The structure of the whole show feels different to me, and each episode feels different. Um, there's more group scenes. There's more of all of us together. Um, there are less locations, so there's more of us in the planet, things like that. Mm -hmm. So overall, I think it it'll be a little different. Bet and Tina this season, I, it's one of my favorite seasons mainly because they're getting along great and they're very connected and they're talking about their future and their, their, um, their work environments changed for both of them in a really positive way. You still get to see Tina in her job as a producer. She still has a lot of challenges. She has a lot of frustrations with what it is to be in Hollywood and not get the respect that she deserves. And... Um, a lot of really exciting things happen for her, especially towards the end of the season. And um, a lot of exciting things happen in the in the family structure, and they decide that they want to go for an adoption and add to their family. And that brings off up a lot of discussion about how to do it. In the world of adoption, and as it, it it should be, is that it is birth mother choice, and they get to pick. So you can't always control who's going to connect to you and pick you. Um, you could wait to be picked by a birth mother in your own state, uh, but you may get picked by a birth mother in another state, and she's not going to really know all the le legalities of it. And it is a lot harder for gay and lesbian couples in certain states. There are some states that won't even recognize the union. And um, I think it was really important to bring it up, especially right now. In a nutshell, basically, they get picked by a birth mother who is very passionate about them, and she's very adamant that they be the parents, and she's met other parents, and yes, the other couples were heterosexual. And she feels like this baby has a better shot with Bet and Tina, and she likes their life, and she likes who they are, and she just is really feels very strongly about them. And... Um, and uh, she happens to be having a boy, and she feels like this boy would be more interesting to be raised in, in their family. And um, she also happens to have, a, she's having a biracial baby, so the baby will look more like Angelica. And um, we go to meet her, but she hasn't told her parents. And then her parents are completely awful. That's what happens in a nutshell. And then, of course, she is in a state that doesn't recognize... Um, a gay union. Mm -hmm. So um, there are all sorts of problems. I think season six will be very different in that we all know it's the last season, so I think it has like a just a different emotional tone. And I think that knowing that when you come in and you play the characters, it makes everything a little bit different. I, I just think it's altered in a good way. You know, after being on the show for six years, I don't think there's anything that su surprises me at all with the writing because it's, I mean, it's a good, wild ride. And so um, I was kind of sad about Jenny dying, and then, but I feel, I feel like that character's been very complex, and Mia has done such a great job with that character. Really, she's brought humor to the character, and... Um, and it's hard to play that character, and um, she still kept the character grounded when it, like, it's hard to understand why Jenny's behaving a certain way. But you need that character in the middle of all of us. I think um, it, it like feels storyline. It feels some um, drama. And um, but as far as being surprised, I mean, no, uh, Eileen's. Uh, I I don't. Whatever, bring it on. You know, like I just that's the way I feel now.